Hey guys, today we are at M1 Concours in Pontiac, Michigan. I have my 2022 Subaru BRZ here, and we're just doing a little shakedown session today, trying to see how this car feels on track. I uh, was gonna try to get the Michelin Primacies mounted and uh, bolted on in time, but I was transferring my winter tires and I just couldn't get them on in the time that we had. So instead we're running a set of Toyo Proxies R888s and a set of 16 inch Rota Slipstreams. Tires are 225 50 R16s. Um, this is my track setup for this year. I figured I'd try out a 16 inch wheel and tire setup for some meaty sidewall action. And uh, I'm not gonna regret it. This is a, it's a fun setup and I think it looks pretty cool. We're on some completely stock suspension, stock power, stock everything. We've disabled the active sound control. And uh, otherwise we've pretty much got a stock BRZ on a set of sticky tires. So let's take it out on track. Substitute Topher is tagging along today because oh. he hasn't even barely ridden in the BRZ. No, I haven't. But once, you drove an automatic a little while ago, yeah, but you haven't experienced the full glory of the six-speed manual. No. So hop in, let's go. We're also testing this 230i this week. Did a little drag race and we did a brief track session in that. That was surprisingly good. It smells good in here. It does, it smells new. Yeah, it does. Yeah, the degassing, <laughs> Subaru is degassing in plastics. It's actually a pleasant smell. It is. I'm not, yeah. I'm not complaining. Okay, we've got an oil temp gauge. Right now we're at 190 degrees. That'll climb up to about 230, 240, which is hot. That's okay. We do have a live readout display for tire pressure, which is super nice, but uh, I haven't mated the sensors to this BRZ yet. So we'll get that scan tool and uh, do that at some point. Holy crap, those tires are loud. <laughs> yeah, they are loud. <laughs> I don't think I've ever run tires this sticky at M1 Concourse. Except for maybe like, we drove an M1, uh, a Miata Cup car at one point. Okay. And uh, those had our comps, but. Gotcha. <laughs> the, t the turning speeds are really fun. <laughs> yeah, this feels so small compared to the two series. Yeah. It's funny. Yeah, and interior space is similar. Like maybe backseat of the two series has a little bit more room, but. Yeah. The tires are so loud, I can't hear the engine. <laughs> I know. <laughs> There's that hard rev limiter. It does pull well, though. I mean, it's, it it's such a more powerful car than the old beers it used to be. It's just more balanced. Finally, the power is, matches the chassis. It does. Yeah, it feels pretty healthy. And there's a decent amount of torque, too. There used to be nobody home around 4,000 RPM, and now it's not terrible. There's that understeer shark starting to present itself. You can kind of power out of it on throttle, but it's still very much there. This is kind of how my 2014 handled when I first got it. The GR86 doesn't understeer as much. It still definitely understeers some. But overall, they've been able to get quite a bit more grip out of this chassis compared to the last generation, which is cool to see. Forgot to turn traction control off. Ah, gotcha. <laughs> Not that I just need grip. to. Yeah, there's just so much grip. <laughs> yeah, actually, I can't wait to get these on the stock Michelin Primacies because they're just so much fun on track. Yeah. They really let you get loose, have a little bit of fun. Women in 
suits over there watching you go. Oh, nice. I had your BRZ. <laughs> I saw we had a bit of an audience. Yeah, we did. <laughs> in the uh, event center. It's funny. Yeah, so far so good. I think we just needed to kind of uh, bend these brakes in too. Fade doesn't seem as bad as I thought it was. Of course, I'm taking it a little bit easier, but. summer. It's so easy to place. It's just a nice car to drive. And you can make this whatever you want it to be, you know? You can make it a grip monster on track, you can make it a drift machine, you can lift it up and take it rally racing, you know? It's just so versatile. It's very versatile. First impressions from the passenger seat? It's unbelievable how light and small it feels to a car that we're calling kind of like a spiritual competitor kind of thing. Like you think that they would be very comparable and they are in some ways, but just from butt passenger seat, whatever feel over here, um, this car feels so much smaller and lighter and more yeah. nimble. Compared to the BMW, it does. Yes. Yep. I mean, the BMW weighs uh, 700 pounds more than Which, this. and you can feel that. Yeah. Yeah. But it, it hides it well. The front end is way better than the BMW. It's a lot more nimble and reactive yeah. and, and just kind of happy to turn in. But uh, yeah, some tweaking that we'll need to do on this BRZ. I think we can we can work some sway bar magic. Um, I'd like to kind of keep the stock suspension for now because it's so soft and comfortable yeah. on the street and our roads in Michigan are just horrendous. Yeah, they are. Um, I would never lower this car. I would, if anything, I would raise it up on some rally coilovers or something fun like that. But uh, we'll see what we can we, we can dial in with the stock suspension. I think we can yeah. throw a stiffer rear bar on here, maybe some front camber, and uh, that'll make this a little bit more of a neutral handling yeah. car. Yeah, well, it's pretty dang impressive on just a set of wheels and tires and nothing yeah. else. Yeah, it feels great. Um, and also when you add grip, it always kind of promotes understeer too because you get more traction on the rear end. Oh, we've opened I keep opening console. that. That is super annoying. All right, guys, well, just a quick track session in the BRZ, a little shakedown, get a feel for what it's like. It's actually pretty predictable to what I thought it was gonna be like. It's, it's, this is about uh, how I thought it would feel. And, uh, you know, we just need to dial out some of the understeer and it'll be fun. Throw some Michelin Primacies back on here. If I want a grippy track setup, I've got it. All right, guys, well, GoPro is overheating. Uh, unlike the car. Yeah. So uh, I think that's going to be a wrap. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video. Yeah, and I think we'll throw a set of brake pads on here. I like my Porterfield R4S pads for street and track duty. They've always served me well. Thanks to Substitute Topher for tagging along. Check out his channel at Topher Drives. Yes. One word on Topher YouTube. Drives, one word. Yeah, doing the some good stuff. Topher. All right, that's it for this one. See you guys later.